Welcome back to another RIP review and today I'm going to take a look at the Metroid character Samus Aran. And I think this is the first time I'm pronouncing this out loud, at least in English, Samus. I would say Samus in my uh, Swiss German. Anyway, this is the character. You can get it on Gumroad, as always, link in the description and everywhere else. And as always, this is also posted on my Animation Buffet site with all kinds of rigs and reviews. And if you have any rigs you want me to review, send them to me. Email is everywhere. Again, link in the description as well. All right, this is the character when you open it, textures are loading automatically. And here are the controllers. Now, actually, usually it's on the show nerves curves, right? But make sure that controllers is on, otherwise you won't see it. And as I was saying, my gun was slightly wonky. It was more like this bent backwards. And that is because when you open up and make sure you read the readme file, because you have to put in the plugin here for Rick system. So make sure that you follow the instructions found in the readme file. Otherwise it won't load correctly. Very cool looking. As always, let's start with the main controller. So you can select the controller here and you see the IK manipulator local or aligned and foot manipulation aligns are also base pose. So you can see here, there's a slight change in that posing here. Of course, it moves everything, it's a very light character. You can select the second one. As always, you can bring this down for a different pivot. And then there is a third one as a root control as well. As you go down here, we have the feet. So here's one controller. That moves everything here. You can see as we rotate, it takes the knee with it. And of course you can take the knee there as well. Now on this controller, you have a lot of options here. So as you take your foot and you stretch it out, you will have the options here to stretch that are found on the knee controller here. So let's go back here. So as you have this, you have your soft distance. There's a soft distance controller. You can see this here, a little slight change there. There is a PV lock as well. And that is if you want to take this, move this around, and that's your knee lock there. You also have, whoops, go back. You have the slide. You can see a bit of a move, kind of a scale option there. There's a twist if you prefer it like this versus that. There's IK to FK, whoops. And you got big controllers up here that move the leg like that, which also gives you all those controllers here, right? So your PV lock, slide, twist, two character space as well and IK to FK just to go back. Interesting that this is there, I like this. Then you have on the knee, you got the same things here. So IK to FK as well. So let me switch back. There's snap to hip changes here and snap to heel as well for more control. Now, as you go here on the side, this is your foot control. This is your foot roll control. So you're gonna have this like that, but as you can see the way uh, all those arrows are going, this is for all kinds of options for banking, and all kinds of stuff. It's very neat. I like that this is all centralized. And again, you have roll weight, soft distance stretch, PV lock, slide, twist, and IK to FK. The PV lock again does this. So you have all those options on separate controllers doing the same thing. As you select the foot, same thing, soft distance stretch, PV lock, slide, twist, IK to FK, and snap to hip. And again, base pose and aligned. And as you do this, you can see everything moves around accordingly. All very, very light. Of course, feet, you're gonna have the same on both sides. I don't know why, this cracks me up every time. You go up here and then you have controllers for the plates. You can move these around. Now, as you move these around, they are locked to the leg here. And all of these will give you the same options all the time. So switching all over the place. You have the same thing. You have a plate here to take that on off. Now, as I'm looking here, there is no bend bows. I don't see anything hidden either. You have your twist and slide and all of that, but there's nothing in terms of potentially bending these. Now, these are hard surfaces, this is a hard suit. So it might, you know, not potentially want to bend this, but that could be an interesting option as well. Very cool though, all the designs here. It's almost like a face. Hello. Going up here, we have this little goodie here. You can take this out, but of course you can rotate it. Whoops, <laughs> you can rotate it around. This would be cool if you do any type of leg leg move up that at the same time it does a bit of a turning turning this reminds me of my transformer days all right moving up to the root you have the root that moves everything here if you go inside here this is 
your hip controller watch out for intersections but you have all of this at your disposal and as you go up here and select this this and this one you have your options to move your spine like this but you can also move it around by translating it's very cool now as you can see here when you select this you also have two fk spines so now when you do this let's say i'm selecting the top one you can still move it around like this but you also have the option to move your character like this and here as well so lots of options and again this turns into a box like this here where you can move things around like that translate and rotate and if you go back here again you have two fk spine and two reverse fk spine you have those extra options very cool as you do this make sure that you check out this one in here you can see as i'm getting back here you have more options to control intersections or to have any additional movement and as we go in here you can see this here if it's that low it's actually these are your shoulder controls be very careful with intersections for those massive shoulder pads here but you have a controller to move this around so rotate translate as you go in there you can see in here this here this is your chest guard as it says here so controllers for these guys all the way back now speaking of back as you go back here you have rotations on this you can move this around and all of these again have the fk spine option there going back again you have these guys that you can move right you can go out here or also rotate with the pivot off of here so lots of options to avoid intersections which is very very cool i'm gonna leave the arms for later but there's more to do if you go up here you can see this is your neck so when you have this on it's somewhat hidden so you want to go in there make this and this is your neck one control so that has the head and this really gives me transformers flashbacks where you don't have that much room for rotations but you can do this here and you can stretch out the neck if you want to geometry follows as such here and then you go up here to the helmet so as you take this you can see you can move this around you can translate around and it reveals the face very very cool now show helmet on you have head ref you have left hand ref and right hand ref what that means is that it will be attached on the side here right so for holding you want to hold your helmet whatever it is and helmet on off instead of just moving it around you can just turn it off as you go here and you select this there is nothing in terms of the face but when you select this here you have your local global so you move your head around right you have all your head options there you have your local global you have to fk to fk spine and detail display mid and high and that's where the goodness is right and now you have jaw nice smooth deformations let me just go up a bit here you have the upper lip that you can move you can also rotate don't forget you have extra channels here to flatten the lips close the lips as well inner mouth on or off so as you do this here you can hold on let me just actually move the jaw open here ah there you go so then you have this here where it's basically for your teeth but it's called inner mouth so let's go back to that so inner mouth on off let me go closer as you have the middle of the lip the outside and the corners for quick deformations very cool that you have that extra detail now going up here you have your nose control and scale you have your nostril flare so you can do that type of stuff through controllers you can go up here and you have the overall nose position but you can also rotate this around not scale then we have the middle section here this is the brow control this moves the whole thing so if you want to give this whatever shape you want there's no scale but you can rotate as well for any kinds of reshaping now if you want to do this separately of course you have this here there's stretch on off just in case bring this back here there's the middle one and then there is the outer one as well stretch on all of these channels let's go in here might as well just go on the, on the side quickly here you got your cheeks and scale so you any type of cheek puffs here and then you have the overall ear but then you also have uh, the top of the ear 
about let me go to this here There's lots to see here so so you select this one and you have your eye movements and for that you have iris scale you have pupil scale and you have blink very very cool now if you want to do this separately of course you have the separate controllers and you have all kinds of shapers i don't have to select all of these but you can see what this does now if you go this way you can see it better this looks like separate controls but it's not this is just one and of course this is on both sides now if you go out again you have this main controller to move both eyes because otherwise you are just moving whoops moving just one so now when you move the head which is again this bigger one this is the helmet control don't forget so if i move the head you can see the eyes follow and if i do this here and i bring those eyes maybe somewhere on the corner and i take this they follow again so if you select this here and you do local global beep, it turns that on so now wherever you put your head the eyes follow only oh let me select this it's like that now you can also turn this off here. So all those options are on multiple controllers. That's always good for speed. Again, as I'm selecting this, you got your helmet. This is for your head. Detail display on high. But as you do this, there is no hair. So just in case you want to adjust these kind of strands or something, as of now, I'm not seeing any hair control, but who's to say that might come later. Going to those ginormous shoulder pads, you have this here that you can translate and you can see you can only translate this in one direction so there's nothing else you can do you can't rotate and you can't scale but you can move all of these going down here you can see all those controls here what are they doing well you can animate these guys so if you want controls over those cables and pipey thingies you do have them this is your elbow control moving this around of course stretch pb lock ik to fk snap to hip snap to torso all those options that's very very cool you can grab this here and this will move your arm and you can see here as you do this that you want some control over the cables which is great for intersections or any type of dangling around which is very very cool of course again all those options on that controller as well so if I do IK to FK, whoops, it switches to here. So now your elbow control is here. And you can see up here is your overall arm controller. Now going back here, extending this a little bit, make sure you check out the visibility of all these. You have this here. This is only in one direction, but this will move this. And you got the same thing here. This will move, let me zoom out here. This will move the cannon. There is no roll. There's nothing to extend or change this here now i will profess ignorance about the game even though i played all of these um i'm just looking at this here this would be interesting to have a slight deformation or a cut here and rotate around you might go heresy that's not what a character does but i'm just saying we kind of need why not some freedom again you have separate controls for this here you go down here separate for that as well and for this you can rotate to open up those flaps so same thing here you have this here plus that arrow to move the bigger part of that gun super super cool i love it the other hand you have elb control of course this is your box here for the arm as you move the arm you can see this is a sticky ik where the wrist kind of follows like that you have your soft distance stretch pv all that good stuff here as well it's very detailed you can grab this of course move this around this works for both checking here there's nothing hidden inside but as you go here you will see there's a tiny little thing here that does left hand all finger controls so this gives you a quick interesting one of i don't see that too many times if at all a version like this to move your hands quickly so close and open but also together and spreading of the fingers but for quick posing that's very cool of course if you want to go in there into detail you can see it has all those controls so you have the rotations to do all of this here now it has ik to fk so when you do this it changes to the fk arm not fingers just in case you might be confused about that as you go in here there is the bigger controller for the main finger here so what it does here is that see other controllers on off right turn this on back the metacarpus on off turn that off so if you go out here and you can see this here that turns that on which is this one Ooh, ooh, there you go. So with this, you have those extra controllers to reshape or rebend if you want a better uh, fist posing. But that's there, and you can see this on all of these. And of course, IK to FK, which is the arm and not the finger. 
Same thing here on the thumb, all of these options. And you can see here that little box here is, that is the range of the finger control here. As you go to the side, that's kind of basically the bounding box. Very, very cool. I gotta say I'm a big fan of this. Of course, with every rig, I would love an option that if you move your arm, that there is a uh, an FK version basically on an IK arm. So as you move that around, you actually have a change in the wrist that keeps it aligned with the forearm. Kind of like what the Apollo rig has. Now twisting on elbows is here. Slide again for some stretchiness and sliding of that elbow. There's a PV lock, that's for your elbow lock there. Of course, stretchiness, if you take this and you want to stretch it, that's there. IK to FK, snap to main, snap to hip, snap to torso. And IK translate manipulation, local or aligned. Very, very cool. One thing I noticed was that when you actually pose out those fingers, I didn't notice this before. Actually, the bigger controllers here, as it says here, it's indexed all controllers. So if you do this, it actually rotates the whole finger. So for quick posing on one controller, to do a quick bend, you can do it like this, but then you select that top one and that does just the main base here of that finger. So I did not notice that as I was going through the fingers. Oh, it's very light. You can really move things around very quickly. And as you do certain poses, like I said, you can move those plates around for intersection help, all kinds of things. Very cool. So overall, very, very cool. I'm really impressed at the speed and just like the, the, the quick options basically you have on the rigs, like I said, on the fingers for just quick posing to do changes on the hands. It's a very light rig. So check out that rig, give it a look on Gumroad. And of course, if you wanna see other reviews and you have rigs that you want me to review, send me an email, send me a link to your rig. I will check them out. I will definitely post them on the site. And if you don't want to miss any of those, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notifications for all of my reviews. And that's it from me. Thank you for watching.